And alcohol has this great immediate effect of woohoo, party time. And then there's the crash and burn and the very ugly side to it. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think um, a lot of the heaviness and, and the depressing side to New Year's Eve I personally just associate with the alcohol consumption. Definitely. And we can relate to this personally. I mean, we haven't had alcohol now for, I think it's eight years. We stopped in November 2009 and it's now December 2017. Eight years. Yeah, last month it was. That's a long time. It's a long time considering that we used to love drinking alcohol, didn't we? Oh, my God. Look, we were (laughs) pissheads, as we say in Australia. That's a very Australian term. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, we used to drink a lot. Yeah, beer, wine, spirits, the lot. Yeah. I mean, the fridge, we used to say that the fridge would be half full of alcohol and the rest full of meat. Yeah. You know, that was how we used to live. (gasps) So when you think that we haven't had a drop in eight years, that is big for us. And life's been good. It's been better. You know, we were talking about this just the other day. We were in the city doing some street activism. And of course, because it's around the Christmas period, there are lots of people out doing Christmas drinks and work party drinks and blah, blah, blah. So a lot of drunks. A lot of drunks out there. And um, we were saying the worst thing about being sober is being around other drunk people. It's just, it's so... We kind of do this every year almost, where we reflect on yes, what, you know, past <laughs> New Year's Eve and New Year's Day what we experiences. Were doing. That's right. Yeah. So we were doing this yesterday, weren't we? We were, because let's face it, for the last couple of years, it's been pretty, pretty placid. Mellow. <laughs> Mellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't make it till 12. Oh, no way. No we haven't way. made it till 12 in years. Yes, yeah, true. In a long time. Mm. And we also don't celebrate it. Like, no. we just try and make every day a great day. Yeah. And sure, you're going to have ups and downs, and some days are really really shitty yeah you know and you think i just want this day over and let's start again tomorrow and see new year's eve and new year's day could be those type of days so again why are we trying to force happiness if it's not coming naturally yeah and and you know everyone says like it's a fresh start but every single day is a fresh start technically again you know how you said you know depending on which calendar we're going by that's right it's ridiculous and isn't time a man-made construct anyway yeah like are there any other animals on the face of this earth keeping track of time I don't think so. Of Maybe, they're I mean, they, they would, go they would by go the by seasons, seasons. yeah. Exactly. But they're not ca- keeping track of time. No, they're not. You know, the rabbits in the wild aren't going. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. Let's have a party, <laughs> and tomorrow we're going to eat lots of carrots. Yay! <laughs> 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 like, they eat carrots, lots of carrots every day That's because right. every day is a fresh start. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of that. It's just again, it's that expectation and that weird feeling like oh, we're supposed to start something fresh, and it's like expectations well, lead to whether it's March or. Uh, June or October, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's what do you want to create every single day? That's right. But so, one thing that's taking... Oh, we're going to get into our reminiscing, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that first? Yeah, we can. We can go everywhere. Okay. You it's, know what? it's already going everywhere. It's a Seinfeld episode. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when we were oh, 21-ish, uh-huh, uh-huh, maybe, uh-huh. Um. We went to... No, it was the year 2000. It was the year 2000. Uh And we went to a a New Year's Eve party on the rooftop in the city in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And, of course, everyone had to dress up in their super best party outfit. I remember I bought the stupidest dress this, it was just... Was that the sort of glittery one? It was glittery, it and was, it was bubbly, yeah. and it was icky fabric. Oh, it was awful it fabric. It was cutting like, into my armpits because like it, it was looked strapless. Like, it looked like something, I don't know, like Lady Gaga would wear or something <laughs> like that. So it was, you know, pretty out there. It was out there. Uh, but it I, was impractical. It was super impractical. I kind of felt like a, um, a disco ball. Yeah, that's what you looked like. Oh, thanks, that's darling. what you looked like. Yeah, not as round as a disco ball. <laughs> no, you were I was like a straight much, disco ball. No, you weren't straight. You were <laughs> semi curvy. You were twenty ball. at that time, so yeah. 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 Anyway, whatever. Anyway. I looked like a disco ball. Right? I was glittery, <laughs> and of course, did I you needed... have red hair then too. I was just thinking about that. Did I? Did I have Possibly. my? Yeah, I used to have Possibly. Ronald McDonald type fire red hair. Yeah. So, so you imagine this. Um, Glittery Disco ball dress, with fire truck it, basically that's what I looked like. Yeah. yeah. So to top off the wonderful look, Natasha decided to go and buy some extremely impractical shoes. Oh wow, we thought the dress was impractical. Holy Those shoes moly. were just they were ridiculous. They were like plastic t- and plastic and twenty feet tall oh, with their stiletto oh. and they were just ridiculous. Yeah. And it was the worst way to start. You know, wasn't it? Happy New Year, the yeah. year 2000. I'm like, my feet are ble- bleeding. Get me out of this stupid dress. Let's go home. Yeah. And that was the whole anticlimax thing. Yes, I think that's when it started. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, it, it kind of went took, down. It only took until 20. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't good.